For this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fake autumn effect with the leaves. I know autumn's just around the corner, but I thought this would be a handy little effect to learn. That's if you don't already know how to do it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing we're going to do is jump straight into colour and when we jump into colour I'm going to go for the greens straight away and I'm going to pull them right back round about there for this image just to about there I'm going to leave that at that then I'm going to adjust the luminance but I'm going to push it this time because we're playing with the colours in this so I'm going to push the luminance in here just so that it picks up what we're about to do I'm quite happy with the colour of the grass, but the colour up here, I'm not so happy about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the yellows and I'm going to pull the yellows back. So the hue I'm going to pull back to around about there. So you can see that that's changed that even further. There's the original and now we're here. So we're looking towards the autumnal colours, which are just around the corner anyway. Also for this, I'm going to push the luminance in quite a bit for this one. I'm going to go to about there, 45 for this. For this image in particular, because of the colours and because of the light, they're the ones that I'm going to play with. But right now that doesn't look too autumnal. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift the hue and that's when you're going to see the difference. So I'm going to drag the hue back. So you can see it changing there and I'm going to take it to around out there that's where I want it I'm not worried about the grass just now I'm only looking at the trees and everything around here so now that we have that in what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the mask and for this I'm going to brush everything in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it in just in the areas because it's just in the what I'm imagining is just in the turn of the autumnal colours I want to paint it so that there's still some greens left so just increase the brush size and the opacity is 50, which is a good starting point for this. So I'm just going to paint in in the odd area. Where I'm painting, yes, it will affect the trees, but when we're dealing with that, all we'll do is we'll go to erase. So I'm going to paint in here, down here, and just around those areas. So you can see that starting to come through. If you want a quicker effect, increase the opacity so I'll go in here now so you'll see a richer colour coming through for this in the smaller areas to save you painting too much take the brush size down I'm lucky with this image because it's just a test image so I don't have too much going on in the sky that's going to be affected by painting this in so there we go more in there and there some down there, I'll take the brush size. I'm just doing this quite liberally, so remember just to take your time when you're doing it. It can escape onto some of the branches if you wish. And if you think you've got too much with the autumnal colours, remember you can go to erase, and if you make the brush bigger, the fade is nicer. So you could do that so that you still have some coming back in. For me, I'm going to paint that back in. I'm going to take the opacity down and I'm going to paint some of that back in. The grass as well, as I said, that's too green for the rest of the image for me. So what I'm also going to do is I am going to take the opacity right back and I'm going to paint over the grass as well, just to pull back the vibrancy of it slightly can see that happening there and over there so you get the idea with this and I'll just paint in there as well and I've just pulled it back slightly and you'll see that when I show you the before and after I'm also aware of where I'm painting and where I'm not painting as you can see this image there's blown out areas you can see that up here there's blown out areas it was just a test image so just keep painting into when you think you're quite happy with it. And remember, because you're working in layers and working in mass, you can get back in and paint whenever you want. So there we go. I'll show you the before, the after. I'll show you it split screen once I turn off edit mask. So there we have the before and the autumnal colours coming through. 
And you can see by doing that as well, it's pulled back some of the grass and that's only by working with the greens. Another thing to add for this, just to enhance the effect of the autumnal colours, would be a lot. And in here, I've already chosen one for this because I felt it suited this image fine. But as you can see, you can get through them all. It's entirely up to you. I felt Monterey added to that to this one the best and you'll see what I mean when I show you the before and after so there's the before and after and you may notice here that it's enhanced with my painting it's enhanced some of this bare branch here so I can go back in and correct that but as I say I felt Monterey worked best with this one so I'm going to leave Monterey there and again I can adjust the effect I can pull back the effect just to get it to where I want it so I'll leave it at that for now and I'll go back into the colour and I'll edit the mask. This time, we're only working at this branch here. I'm going to get rid of the colour from it totally. So I'll click once there. And you can see that that's painted in. I'll go erase. And the next time I'll check what brush I'm using first. So I'll go in here and I'll just strip the colour that I've applied out of that one totally. And by painting it and it means you can blotch it in in areas and as I say the greens are showing through as well. On to a new adjustment layer next. And this adjustment layer allows us to edit the entire layer at once if we need to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm now going to get into the light and into the essentials panel. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put a touch of smart contrast in here just a bit there and then I am going to look at the shadows do I want to lighten them do I want to pull them back I'm unsure and as you see some of this area here is painted again I could go back into that original layer and remove it which I will do but after I do this so do I want to play with the shadows in this one perhaps but again subtly and I'll leave it at that I'm then going to jump into the mystical and I'm going to push that just a tad. Just to around there, quite like the effect that gives. And then into the portrait tab and into the autumn effect. And I'm going to push the autumn effect quite a bit for this one. I am going to go to around there. So that's a very quick way of creating a fake autumnal look within Luminar. So I'll show you the before. And then the after, before and after. And from here, you can go in and tweak the image to how you want it with AI Enhance, AI Structure or anything else that you want through this. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Very simple techniques, but it can be used once the autumn colours appear and you can enrich the colours as you know with the HSL sliders and everything else in the curve. So you can do that there as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you're not currently a subscriber. And hit the like button because that really helps me and it helps the channel as well. Remember, stay safe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.